Hello everybody, happy Friday. I'm going to show you the piggies and the goaties while we wait just a minute for everybody to join. I just pulled some goodies out of the garden for these guys. So they are enjoying. It's really funny because they all have favorites. And so like if I bring you know, sunflowers or this particular kind of squash, butternut squash, I think. Um, she's got an acorn squash. Anyway, when they find something that is their favorites, they just snag it and then <laughs> run away with it. And it's so funny. Um, so it's Farm Friday today. Good morning. You guys, I have not even brushed my hair yet today. It's you're getting me live, <laughs> real life live. Anyway, so it's Farm Friday. And so Farm Fridays, I like to um, take a lesson that I have learned or am learning in my real life, in my farm life, um, and, apply it to, and apply it to our business. So I've got a lesson for you guys today. It just came to me this morning. Um, so right now, California is on fire. <laughs> There, it happens every single year, every August, it's fire season, and it's because we have a Mediterranean climate, so we get almost, well, literally no rain all summer long, and so everything super dries out, my fields get ugly yellow brown, in the springtime they're gorgeous green, um, but anyway, we get no rain, so we have no moisture, and so we're really susceptible to fires, because people are not swift and so you know they start fires by accident um, but also we had some lightning start fires earlier um, this this year this summer I mean no rain but we had lightning anyway it was heat lightning anyway blah 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 so we are in the middle of super fires and so we're actually supposed to be very hot the last couple of days but this uh, the Sun is blocked by smoke so we don't even have that much sun. It's very weird. The other night, um, my chickens put themselves away at like 6 p.m. They don't actually put themselves away until the sun goes down, which is like right now about 7.45, 7.55. But it was 6 p.m. and it was dark and the chickens put themselves away. And so everybody was all messed up. Um, but anyway, blah, blah, blah. The Farm Friday topic today is to be prepared, not scared, right? So this is what it is. We have um, poor air quality right now because it is so smoky. It literally smells like fire everywhere. Um, and it's so weird. And you guys, squirrel, side note, growing up, I lived in New York. And so I remember every year we would see California wildfires and it was so sad and, you know, boohoo, wah, wah, wah. Um, but being here, living here and experiencing it and seeing the plumes of smoke in the sky is so weird, like so Armageddon feeling. Here nor there, we're getting through it. So the topic of Farm Friday is be prepared, not scared. So I am prepared. I have farm animals now. So if God forbid we had to evacuate, I need to be prepared to save these animals also. And so we've got an enclosed trailer. I've got a plan put together. Um, two years ago, I was emergency evacuated from my home. Thank goodness nothing ever reached my home. And so I was able to go back um, before the end of even that day. But that experience of being, oh, sorry, my fat thumbs in the way. That experience of being evacuated taught me that I needed to have a go bag packed. So I always have a go bag packed with, you know, some underwear and some clothes and um, important things that I can grab and go really quickly. So I am prepared if we have to evacuate or if we see fire or whatever, I'm prepared, I have a plan. So that's the same thing you wanna do in your business, right? You wanna be prepared, not scared. Granted, you're probably less scared of getting a recruit than you are scared of being evacuated for a fire, but when you are prepared, you're going to be less, even less scared, right? So if you have not had a recruit yet, or if you um, just don't feel like you're a super recruiter or whatever, get prepared. Um, write yourself a standard SOPs, standard operating procedures for when you get a recruit. Be familiar with the verification process. When somebody joins Posh, they also need to um, click through to HyperWallet to verify their HyperWallet. They also need to 
um, call into Posh to verify they're a real person before their starter kit is released. Um, you might want to put together a welcome packet. I like to send a welcome packet when somebody joins my team. Your welcome packet can be literally just a handwritten, thank you so much for choosing me as your sponsor. Here are a few supplies to help you get started. Maybe it's just a notebook. I do um, a package of some samples and some sample making supplies, just like a little tiny taste of different aspects of our business. Um, but get some welcome packets put together so that they are ready to go. So you're prepared for your recruit, right? Um, what were the other? Oh God, now I'm forgetting my specific examples. Be prepared. Oh, to posh somebody out in the world, right? I was thinking, put together some sample packages. Just one or two samples with a little, you know, sticker. Or sometimes I get these cards off Amazon that are like a reminder to be kind and it gives a whole slew of information uh, like examples of how to be kind give somebody a compliment smile at a stranger that sort of thing I think they're cute little cards and I include them with my sample packs but if you have these sample packs pre-made you're prepared right you could even print um, if you have a dymo you could print little stickers on the outside of the sample packet that say I like your mask or you made me smile I like your mask, you made me smile. Print those two sayings or even handwrite those two sayings on some sample packs, put them into your purse, and when you're out and about, you have two perfectly good reasons. Look at the dirt on my hands, you guys. Farmer, Farm Friday. You have two perfectly good reasons to posh somebody. You like somebody's mask, even if you don't like their mask, pretend like you like their mask. Blah, blah, blah. I like your mask. Here, would you like a sample? Granted, people are going to maybe be a little more hesitant to take something from a stranger in these strange times, but I challenge you to try that because people are also more apt to want to connect because we have no connection these days because everybody's walking around with a freaking mask covering their face. Here nor there, we're not getting political, I'm not talking about masks, but I'm trying to give you ideas to be prepared in your business. Um, if you have not been doing online parties, get prepared. Don't be scared, right? If online parties intimidate you, get prepared. Be prepared. Don't be scared. We have a mock party that you can review. Um, we have a mock party group. If you don't know where that is, then tag me down below in the comments and I will make sure you get into it. We have um, example parties that you can follow. You can get active, make a post in this group. Look at the guineas. They just run around like that all day. Make a post in this group that say, hey, I'm not familiar with online parties. Does anybody rock their parties? And would you be willing to invite me into one of yours so I can take a look? Find what works for you. Be prepared. Don't be scared. This business is simple. It is not easy. Anybody can do it, but you've got to be prepared. So that is my lesson from Farm Friday. So don't worry about me here in the Smoky Mountains. It's not really the Smoky Mountains, but we're smoky right now. Um, we are prepared and we are not scared. So I hope you guys have a fabulous Friday. I hope you have a fabulous weekend. Um, if I can be helpful to you in your business, let me know. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.